Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now some new research has come to light very recently that is showing that OnePlus is slowing down apps like Chrome and Twitter deliberately on the OnePlus 9 series. Well that sounds pretty odd to me. and It is actually pretty odd. So if you want to find out more, please well, let me explain. Okay, so what's happened is Andre over at Anantech has done some research about the performance of the OnePlus 9 Pro. And he's written an excellent article dissecting all of his work. Now, Andre's an excellent fellow. I met him several times and his work is excellent. And I will leave a link to his article in the description below. Now, what Andre has discovered is that Chrome and Twitter and a few other apps, which we'll talk about in a minute, perform slower on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now he says at the bottom of the article that he's only tested it on the OnePlus 9 Pro, not on the OnePlus 9, nor on any of the other OnePlus devices. So of course, because I have uh, my colleagues at Android Authority, we were able to test many, many devices and to see what results we got. Now the first thing I wanna say is I can confirm that Andre's results are absolutely spot on for the OnePlus 9 Pro. I have a OnePlus 9 Pro here with me and I ran the test that he did. We'll talk more about results in a moment and absolutely it's true. It also turns out it's true for the OnePlus 9, not just the Pro version, but also for the OnePlus 9. However, it doesn't seem to be true for other phones in the OnePlus series. So what seems to be happening here is deep inside the internals, of the version of Android running on the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro, there are some decisions made when certain apps are seen. Now we've seen this in the past, where in fact an artificial boost is given to apps. Forget the battery life, forget the heat, let's just run this benchmark as fast as possible. However, in this case, the opposite seems to be happening. When the uh, Android on the OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro sees apps like Chrome and Twitter, it actually slows them down. Now, Andre's analysis is saying that how it's slowing that down is by not letting them run on the X1 core, which of course is the high performance core. There's only one of them, but there's one X1 core in the Snapdragon 888. And some apps are limited under certain circumstances only to the Cortex A55 core. So of course they're going to be running much, much slower. And one way to test this is to fire up Chrome and go to the Speedometer 2.0 JavaScript benchmark page and run the uh, benchmark and see the results you get. So I did exactly that with the OnePlus 9 Pro and the score I got was 17.6. Now 17.6 without some context doesn't mean very much. Here's the context, a OnePlus 8 scores 68.8. So here we're getting 17.6 and uh, 68.8, a huge difference. So then we ran it on the OnePlus 9 and we also got the score of 17.4. So these are very, very uh, significant differences between the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro. So the next thing I did to see whether there was some battery optimization going on was I went into the settings and I disabled all battery optimizations for the Chrome web browser. Now normally they're to do with background tasks, but I thought I'd give it a try and see what happens. And I ran the tests again and got basically the same result. I then also went to the web view uh, component, which again is a, the built-in web browser that's inside of Android. And a lot of web browsers are based on that. And I disabled battery optimizations for that but again, the same result. And to confirm that this is just a problem with Chrome running on the OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro, I installed and fired up Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Edge Beta on the OnePlus 9 Pro. And when I ran exactly the same benchmark, I got a score of 73.74, which is what you'd expect higher than the OnePlus 8 and certainly not down in the 17 and 18s as I saw running Chrome. So it looks like Andre's analysis is pretty accurate and it seems that OnePlus has a kind of a battery saving technology built into the uh, OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro to try to get out the most battery life by forcing certain apps to run on the power efficiency cores or certainly not to make their way up to the X1 core in the Snapdragon 888. The reasoning I'm guessing is that they want to be able to prolong battery life. Why? Because a lot of the apps that have been picked are to do with social media. So there's Twitter, there's Chrome, there's Instagram, WhatsApp, Zoom meetings, YouTube. They all seem to be affected by this problem. 
So are OnePlus cheating? Well, as Andre points out, if you've paid top dollar for a smartphone and then you're using Instagram or Twitter or Chrome or any of these other apps, then you're not going to get top performance. In fact, you're going to get performance similar to a low-end mid-range phone. And yet you paid big money to have this device. So in that sense, you are being cheated. On the other hand, when you use apps that are not on this list for battery saving, then of course you're going to get the full performance. So it'd be really interesting to hear from OnePlus for their explanation about this. And maybe if we could have an official list of apps that are intentionally slowed down on the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro. Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. Talking of Twitter, I hope you are following me on Twitter at Gary Explains. And I suppose that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.